हेलो चिल्ड्रेन एंड वेलकम बैक टू सिंपल मशीन्स पार्ट थ्री ना इफ यू रिमेंबर इन पार्ट टू वी लास्ट स्पोक अबाउट फ्लोटिंग एंड सिंकिंग वी सॉ दैट इट्स नॉट अबाउट साइज और वेट दैट मेक्स थिंग्स फ्लोट और सिंक बट इट इज़ देयर डेंसिटी एंड वी सॉ दैट इफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट इज डेंसर दैन वाटर दैन इट विल सिंक इन वाटर वेर इज इफ इट इज लेस डेंस दैन वाटर दैन इट विल फ्लोट ऑन वाटर and we saw the density of water which is nothing but 1 kg per liter which means that 1 liter of water will weigh 1 kg so now let us look into archimedes principle now when you see archimedes principle suppose a coin made of metal is denser than water and it sinks then how does a ship which is also made of metal float on water now this is a question that i have how can this be possible both of them are metals we know that metal is more dense than water so it has to sink why does a ship float on water now to understand this let's take a piece of wood in a bucket of water we know that it floats now let's try pushing it into water and we can feel a force that is pushing our hands upward you don't need just a wood even if you're at a swimming pool you have the floating boards try pushing that floating board inside water you will feel that the floating board is pushing back at you right it is giving you an opposite force so what happens now if you release this wood from your hand it will come back with a force it will just jump out of water a little it comes up with a force right this shows that water acts on the wood with an upward direction there is a force that is acting on the wood from water which is in the upward direction so this force that water is giving on the wood from down is called as an up thrust or it's called as a buoyant force now this buoyant force acts on all substances that are in water due to this any substance inside water will lose weight things are a lot more lighter next time when you are in the pool with your friend ask your friend to just relax and try carrying your friend your friend will feel so much more lighter inside water than if you try carrying your friend outside water this is because water reduces the weight of any substance in it So what do you think would be the weight of this piece of wood in water? Very very interesting. Its weight in water is zero. It weighs zero. That is the reason why it floats in water. So let's study this with an example now. When you put a brick or metal inside water, the level of water in the bucket will go up. this is because the object is displacing or moving water to make place for itself so if you see in this image here this 5 kg metal piece we are putting it inside this water and because this is going in you can see that water is coming out from the opening and collecting here because this metal is displacing water to make place for itself now if an object sinks in water it displaces water equal to its own volume suppose you have a ball of metal when you put it it is going to sink into water and the amount of water that it is displacing is equal to the space that it occupies but if the object floats on water it will displace a lot less water now archimedes who was a greek scientist studied all about up thrust and how it works So Archimedes principle says that up thrust is equal to the weight of water displaced by an object. Now he gave a few rules of floating and sinking which said that if the weight of an object is more than up thrust then the body will sink in water whereas if the up thrust is more than the weight of the object then it will float on water. For example if we see this human being the up thrust given by water is more than his own weight that's why he's floating whereas if you see the metal the metal is heavier than the up thrust given by water that is why it sinks
So let us come back to our basic question. We've gone all around the world. We've spoken about Archimedes and his principle. We saw what is buoyancy and we saw what is upthrust. We even saw rules of why things will float or sink. So we'll come back to the question that we asked. Why does the ship float on water? Now if you see this, the ship is made of iron. Still it floats on water. This is because if you see the shape of the ship, it is hollow in the center. That is why it floats. Now when the ship is in water, the entire volume of the ship, including this hollow portion, displaces water to make space for itself. So this much amount of water is displaced to make place for itself. Thus, the volume of displaced water is much more than the volume of iron in it. Now if you see, it's just a thin sheet of iron. We saw that the center is just air, which is hollow. But this volume is huge. So it is bigger than the volume of the metal itself. That's the reason why it floats. So according to Archimedes principle, the upthrust or the buoyant force is very high, which is much more than the weight of ship. That is the reason why ships float on water. But the same amount of iron that goes into building the ship, if you're going to make it into a compact ball and throw it into water, it will displace lot lesser water and it's just going to sink. For example, here. Because everything is compact, there is no hollow air, there is no excess volume than the buoyant force, it's just going to sink. Now let us study more in detail about what is our weight in water. First, let us see what is apparent weight. When you see apparent weight, it is the weight of an object in water. So if you can see this metal here, its actual weight is 5 kgs, whereas its weight in water is showing here is just 3. So how do we represent this mathematically? Apparent weight is equal to its weight in air and the weight of water that it displaces. So its weight in air is 5 kgs minus the weight of water that it is displacing. So the amount of water that it is displacing is 2 kgs. So minus 2 kgs. So the apparent weight or the weight of this object inside water is equal to 5 minus 2 which is 3 kgs. So if you see in this weighing scale also it is showing 3 kgs. Then we have a term which is called as apparent loss in weight. Apparent loss in weight is the loss of weight of an object when it is immersed in water. Mathematically, apparent loss in weight is its weight in air minus its apparent weight. So what is its weight in air? We saw its weight in air is 5 kgs. Apparent weight we just found out which is 3 kgs. So it is minus 3 kgs. What do you get? 5 minus 3 is 2 kgs. So if you see this 2 kgs is nothing but the weight of water that it displaces. So when an object is immersed in water, it loses weight equal to the weight of water it displaces. Let's take another example. Suppose I have a metal of 10 kgs and it is displacing a water worth of 2 kgs. How much do you think its weight will be inside water? So we have the weight in air. We have the amount of water that it displaces. So its apparent weight or weight in water will be 10 minus 2 which is 8 kgs. So I hope you've understood how weight of an object inside water is very different from its weight outside of water. So with this, we complete this chapter, Simple Machines. Let's do a quick recap of everything that we covered in part 3. So first, we looked into Archimedes' principle, which said that upthrust is equal to the weight of water that an object displaces. Then we saw rules of floating and sinking which was given by Archimedes which said that if a weight of an object is more than the up 
thrust then the body will sink in water whereas if the up thrust is more than the weight then it will float on water then we saw the most important question why does ships float and we said that it is because it has a hollow space because of its shape so it displaces a lot more water than its requirement so that's why the buoyant force is also very very high and that's why it is floating on water finally we spoke about weight in water where we saw apparent weight is nothing but weight in air minus weight of water displaced and apparent loss in weight is nothing but weight in air and apparent weight which is the same as the weight of water that is displaced we took the example of this metal in water and we studied this in detail so with this we wrap this chapter up if you have any doubts at all just get back to us and we will definitely answer your queries please like subscribe and share this video with your friends thank you